<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Dave. Welcome back to Sailing Madness and welcome to part four of our Scottish adventure. So Louisa left yesterday and look who's back today. I'm back. I couldn't stay away <laughs> and I brought the weather with me as well. Yes, he has. It's nice and sunny. And the forecast is for no rain today, I believe. Oh, that'll be good. That'll be very good. Louise has set me the challenge <laughs> of uh, trying to be... Uh, be best crew member. Oh, she was a speed she's demon. She's definitely beaten me. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know about beating you, but she's definitely better looking than you. So, uh. <laughs> so I'm going to be running around a lot today, <laughs> make it up for it. Okay, so still at Kip Marina, we're just slipping the lines, we're going to go to the fuel berth, and then we are heading out up the Locks and Kyles. Okay, so that's the fueling done. We're just leaving the marina now. It's been a pleasant enough stay at Kip. Uh, they brand themselves as Scotland's premier marina, but I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that myself. Probably the worst showers I've ever used in any marina anywhere. But staff friendly, very helpful. And the food in the restaurant was quite nice, even though they don't sell Guinness. Well, they do, but it's only in a can, but that's not the same. That's not counted. Has to be on draft. Robin's getting the fenders in. Working, always working. Always working. Yeah, earning my key. <laughs> Would say like a cup of tea next. Oh well, well, well one could one one could enjoy a coffee. Would say like that steamed cappuccino. Oh yes, please, with Cho sprinkles on top. Chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> We'll just have to flip him away because I'm busy. Well, I was just about to say I got him well trained, but after a comment like that, I'm not sure. I think more staff training is needed, more crew training. Right, so now we're underway. Let me just show you on the map where we are and where we're going. I'll just zoom in. Here's Kip Marina, which is where we just left. And then we are heading down the Firth of Clyde, and then we're going to be going back up this way. Now, this is where we went in last week's episode. Uh, the East Kyle. So we're going to head to this area here and they're going to see what the winds are doing and then make a decision where we drop the hook for tonight. We've got a couple of options and uh, we'll see where we end up. Well for the last 45 minutes from now we've been sailing, we've been tacking up the channel. If you look at the charts you can see where we've been. Right, depth is coming off as we're getting closer to the okay. shore. Ready about? Ready? Yeah, helm to Lee. steam engines apparently but it's powered by um, gas as opposed to coal. That's um, coming down to London no piercing. It's been. 
It, it was there in June, was it? May or no, June? Was it? without smoke coming out the funnels though, is it? <laughs> Right, so we just had lunch in a lovely little anchorage. Um, the island of Eileen Doop is over there. And if you watch the last episode where I got the rope wrapped around the prop, that happened at Wreck Bay, which was over here. Now the plan is we're heading down to Kames, which is down, down here. This is the West Kyle, so we're gonna be heading down this way. And we might have a little bit of wind for sailing, but we'll see. So we are slowly making our way to our pub, for, I mean the mooring for the night. Uh, is it the Kames Hotel? Yeah. Kames Hotel, isn't it? Let's hope they do Guinness. Just sailing on just the head sail and we're doing four knots in 12 knots of breeze. Remember, if you're enjoying this episode, please like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments or questions, please type away in the box below. Hitting like and subscribe and commenting will really help the channel grow because the more you interact with us, the more YouTube will put us in front of other people who may not have found us yet. So thank you very much. So it's the morning after the couple of pints of Guinness the night before at the uh, Came, Came, is it Kames? Kames Hotel. Came. At the Kames Hotel and uh, I'll definitely go back there. The meal was lovely, wasn't it? We had a lovely meal. Really, really good. And uh, great mooring boys. And a really fantastic views. Some entertainment watching another boat attempt to pick up a mooring boy about four times and missed it every time. After your... After after we did it on well, the first attempt. What attempt. Look first at attempt. Look at that. You know with you, a really bad one. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have people looking at us and laughing at us as well. <laughs> Good entertainment. Absolutely. Right, let me show you on the map then where we are heading. So this is where we've just set off from. And we're heading down the West Kyle. And we're rounding the, the tip. And we're heading up Lower Lock Fine. And the plan is we're gonna stop around here, Otter Bay for lunch. Right, well we've been going about an hour. We've just made our way down to the bottom of the uh, West Kyle. We're now in the Inchmarnock water and we are now kind of almost doing a 180 degree turn and heading up Lower Lock Fine. And look at that, the sun has come out. It won't, it won't be out for long though. Well, can you hear the silence? We've got the sails out. We're gonna be tacking up the lock putting on all those tacks just like we did yesterday but currently we've got about 10 knots of breeze and we're doing about three and a half through the water we were oh we were <laughs> oh that's the helmsman's fault he's gone too far in into the wind too busy filming not enough concentrating on where the boat's going oh and look at that we've heaved two now <laughs> You no. definitely can't do two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were doing three knots through the water. Now the sails are... Oh, come on, get over. Here again. We'll be back on the wind in a minute. We've got it, we've got it. That's it. We're going again now. There's a lesson learned. Concentrate more on sailing than filming. 
Well, there we go. <coughs> 12 knots of breeze. We're still kind of, we're on a close haul now, really. Feel her accelerating. You can just feel it go, can't you? But we're heading up there. That's where we want to be going. So we're tacking up. Right, okay, so we are coming up to Otter Bay. This is going to be our mooring for the night. And the building that you can see ahead is the Oyster Catcher. So uh, we're probably going to eat on the boat tonight and go there for a beer later on. Uh, but we're going to be picking up one of their uh, mooring balls, stopping here for the night. And it's been a great day sail. Had a fantastic sail up Lower Lock Fine. The winds have been fairly consistent, sort of 12 to 15 knots. And I've learned so much about the boat today. We've been trying all sorts of different things with sail plans, uh, seeing what worked and what didn't work quite so well. But uh, I'll show you on the map in a minute where we've been and how many tacks we've done again. Uh, we were pretty much heading on a, a close haul pretty much all day today. But uh, it's been a great learning curve. Thoroughly enjoyed it. As you can see, we're not far from our, our mooring. So we'll find a ball and hopefully get another pint of Guinness tonight. Now the secret whenever you're picking up a mooring ball is to go slow and do it into the wind. So we're going for the mooring ball that's between this blue boat and the small little fishing boat. And we're going to swing round so we're facing into the wind. And hopefully I pick the ball up on the first attempt. Come over this way a bit. Try and do this a little bit more dignified than when I got out the dinghy at Loch Long. Right, so that was our first night at anchor on Loch Fine, and uh, very nice it was too. This is Otter Bay behind us. Stopped there the night, picked up one of the mooring balls from the uh, oyster catcher. Uh, which is a lovely venue. Uh, the food there is supposed to be incredible, but they, they don't serve food on a Sunday night. So uh, we just went there for a beer instead. We cooked on the boat. But uh, we've got an awful long way to go today. Uh, we've got exactly five nautical miles to head over to the start of the Crinning Canal. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We'll stop on the canal tonight and then we'll be out the other end tomorrow. Uh, we are a little late this morning. It's just coming up to 11 o'clock. But that's because it was absolutely pouring down at first. Um, oh, Robin's just telling me I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just, I was just heading into a sandbank while I was talking to the camera. <laughs> Good job, someone's concentrating on where the boat's going, isn't it? Uh, what was I saying? Can't remember. Oh. That's what I was saying. Five more, yeah, five nautical. <laughs> so yeah, nice place. Oyster Bay, and no, Otter Bay, and the Oyster Catcher. <laughs> I'm just going to put the camera down now and concentrate. I think yeah. 
You'll be pleased to know we didn't hit the sandbank. Well, I didn't hit the sandbank. Uh, but what did I say a few moments ago about it being nice, sunny and warm? Well, here we are literally <laughs> in real time, 10 minutes later and it's clouded over, the wind's picked up and it looks like it's going to bucket down. Poor old Robin's still got his shorts on. And that just about does it for Dave for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll be taking you through the Crinan Canal. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that and all future episodes. And if you've got any comments or questions, please type away in the box below. Thanks once again to my amazing patrons for your continued support. All patrons get exclusive content and early access to all of our episodes. So if you'd like to become a patron for as little as £3 per episode, please click the link below. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.